Episode of Bid Nerds. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Welcome to the show, Bid Nerds, the daily show where we talk about the most interesting car of the day from all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. And today's car is a very interesting one. It's from a very good friend of ours. So we're excited about talking about this particular car. Uh, but first, my name is John Polnick. I'm your host, along with my partner, Michael Deeb in San Francisco. Hello, Michael Deeb. How are you today? Dude, I am really excited. Uh, this is Mauricio's car, right? Three, three pedal, pedal posse, posse the, yeah. the founder of Three Pedal Posse. Nice. Uh, we are going to be talking about his car, uh, but first, we want to give a shout out to our good friends at God and Porsche of Las Vegas and God and Classic. If you are in the market for a classic Porsche and you don't want to mess with all these auction sites and you just want to find an expert that actually knows what he's talking about, unlike Michael Deeb and I, uh, you can call <laughs> over there and they will help you find the classic Porsche that you are looking for they will get you hooked up give them a shout all right let's get does that to, mean does huh? that mean i used to be an expert because i used to work for God, Porsche. that is Classic. correct and then you I started used to hanging be an out with me and you lost your ex- Dumb down. your yeah. ex- expert <laughs> credentials bona fides <laughs> for sure hey what we do on the show if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe like and notification button right now uh we find the most interesting car of the day we have a quick conversation about it we make a prediction uh about what's going to happen with that car's auction and then we reconcile the predictions with the results. So we uh, we will show you what actually happens with this car's auction at the end of the episode. So stick around all the way to the end. Michael Deeb, let's get right to this beautiful car. You get, Look at my t-shirt. I just wanted to say my t-shirt and the tattoo, of course, Dear Fascination. Uh, that is our one of our sister channels. If you haven't been to that channel, check it out. Uh, that's, this car that's ground is, zero for all this stuff, yeah. really. Yeah, uh, that's where it all started, and uh, this yeah. particular car was there. So let's talk about today's car. Look at this beautiful thing. Yeah, you know what's really cool is I had noticed the car. Of course, you knew the car was up. Our good friend Yuri sent me the car, uh, sent us the car, and it's like, did you see this with the defrostination sticker in the window? And, of course, it's it turns out it's Mauricio's car uh, yeah. from Three Pedal Posse. So without further ado, Mauricio took a 1968 Porsche 912 and basically rebuilt it to be his vision of you know, like a 911 R or like an early ST kind of car, except without the fender flares, like, an, um, but just, just this really cool vintage rally car on the short wheelbase chassis. Um, the car shows about a hundred thousand miles, but it's true mileage unknown. Um, uh, the car is up in Seattle, Washington. And essentially what happened is it was rebuilt with a 2.7 liter flat six, a 901 gearbox, it's got Weber carburetors and SEV uh, Marshall driving lights. There's a full roll cage in there. There's beautiful fixed back seats. Um, but the big news, you know, and what John and I kind of constantly harp on is when it comes to some of these special 911s, the motor, pardon the pun, really drives the car, really drives the sale of the car and the value. And so what we've got here is a motor that was overhauled by a shop called John Walker's Workshop up in Marysville, Washington. And essentially, JP, when they rebuilt the motor, they did it with male cylinders, JE pistons and rings, um, replacement connecting rod and bearings and ARP studs, uh, refinished valve covers. And uh, and again, then they finished it all off like with the Weber carburetors um, and uh, and a bunch of other stuff. But I'm guessing, and again, I don't know this for sure. I didn't. I haven't talked to the owner of the car, but I'm guessing just by what you can see there, this is probably a 240, 250 horsepower motor. Um, w- w- just just based on what I've read, you know, and just looking at it, um, it'll be interesting to see. But I think that that is what's really going to drive this car. Um, really cool car. You know, a lot of it you have to live with the person's taste. Uh, in this case, you know, you've got the orange uh, decals on the front and the rear of the car and and some really cool orange highlights to the interior trim to carry that design language. Uh, but there's a lot to like here. It's immediately recognizable as a vintage 911 rally car. And that's what I like about it. it there's a lot of contemporary updates, but most of the stuff is period correct. You know, 15 inch Fuchs wheels without going crazy uh, and doing larger wheels and thinner tires. 
might improve the handling, but it wouldn't look right on the car. I love the sort of vintage um, early Momo steering wheel and the corduroy on the seats. Uh, everything on this car is is correct in my opinion, and I really like it. I think the only thing that's going to hold this sale back, John, and we'll get into this a little bit at, later after you talk, is the fact that he did this on a 912 shell. The car will technically always be registered as a 912, and I do think that sort of scarlet lever will hold back the ultimate value of everything that's been put into this uh, you know body. Uh, but other than that, this is a great car. I love how it looks. I, it's a car I would want to drive. And I love all the, the the livery and the real rally stuff. I bet this car is a absolute blast to just kind of beat the snot out of, which I assume Mauricio has done once or twice. So, JP, I know you've seen this car in the flesh. I send it over to you. Uh, I am smitten, though. This is a great selection. I really like this car. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful long hoods that uh, I've ever seen personally. Um, <laughs> he, uh, I wish I could have bought this car. I had purchased a different car just before he kind of put it out there that it was going to be up for sales. I was like, oh man, I, you know, I love my backdate car, but cert I certainly would rather have had this one. Um, I don't know if I could have afforded this one. I think this one is going to probably bring some big money, but look, I mean, that, that engine is just candy. That is just jewelry. It is just eye candy. The fiberglass so shroud. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the 912 moniker hurts it at all. I mean, this is just pure hot rod. Um, you know, anyone that buys this car knows they're not buying a 912. So who the hell cares? It's all about the bits that are under the hood and how it was put together. No detail was overlooked on this car. I mean, this thing, is as they say bespoke right every last yeah, little totally. thing about this car is absolutely perfect um danny over at dc vintage uh you know oversaw the the creation of this thing uh as well as mauricio you know mauricio oversaw the creation and uh you know danny did the work um I love these BF Torino seats. I'm going to, I'm ultimately going to probably get a set of these for my car. Um, for your back they, yeah, these really They're are the right gorgeous. seats to have in the car. Yeah. Right. I mean, look at that. And I love yeah. just the, the basic carpet kit over everything in the back interior. I'll probably eventually do that as well. Uh, yeah. you know, I didn't get a chance to drive this car and, and it's a total bummer that I probably won't. Although I am going up to Seattle this week, maybe I can get a chance to drive it real quick. Um, that would be pretty dope. Uh, you know, before it gets sold, I don't know if he'll let anyone drive it. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Walker uh, is a shop that's been in Washington State uh, forever. In fact, some of the first times I ever saw, you know, the first Porsche shop I ever took one of my cars to was Johnny Walker. They used to be uh, on, uh, like, not Shoreline. They used to be by Green Lake where I used to live. But anyways, whatever. This car is just absolutely gorgeous. I love all the uh, livery, the stickers, you know, the way every, they're all put Maurice, on perfectly. Mauricio even plump for the uh tb15 the michelin tb15 tires which yeah. are the vintage michelin tires i i kid you not 15 inch i i bet you he paid like 1500 dollars for those tires i mean they're yeah. or, or even yeah. close to two grand those tires are a fortune but they are practically an r compound tire just in a vintage uh profile you know like it's it, they're really cool and most people won't go the distance to pay that kind of money for the tires but i just it's that kind of detail that went into it there's like a you know, a roll hoop and, and the, the harnesses are period correct. I, I, the shift handle, I, everything that's on there, it's, it's so well executed. I, I really love the car. It's, it's He's great. got this really cool decal, this 1968 decal, and you can see part yeah. of it has the Durr logo on the corner there. And then, so the, cool. yeah, all the, all of our friends, DC, uh, DG vintage and just all these great people that we, we all know, uh, I'm honored, uh, that Durr is part of the, uh, livery. That's pretty awesome. Absolutely. He has an extra one of these stickers, um, this is 1968, yeah. but my car is a 1986 back date. I was thinking about oh, trying wow. to get this exact same sticker and just reverse the eight and the six. Yeah. Just have <laughs> a print another so one for you. Badass yeah. on the, on the corner of my car. Do uh, it. Do I it. I think that's going to have to happen. All right. Uh, now's the big, what do we think this car is going to bring? It's on the right platform. It's getting a lot of buzz. Everyone's noticing this car. Um, yeah. and like you said, it's not original at all. Of course, that's what's great about this car. This is the right kind of hot rod. Do we think this car is going to bring that big premium or do we think these hot rod type things are cool enough? What's going to happen with this car's auction? Before I they... do, but I also think it would have brought just a teeny bit more if it was built onto a 911. That's just, again, that's one guy's opinion, JP, but our car closes basically like four days from now, right at the end of the week on a Friday. 
Um, it's sitting at $72,000 as we record this on just four bids. It's early. The car really just came up, you know, um, from the past weekend. I think this is a $150,000 car as it sits there. But the fact that it's a 912 and it's going to be registered as a 912, I think there's a, I, I think there's a 10% hit for that. So if you take $15,000 off of my $150,000 valuation for that build, then I think this car transacts at $135,000. Now, if this car brings 150 or 165, I wouldn't be surprised at all. That just means somebody likes it as much as I do and can afford it. And two guys fought over it and, and, and bid it up, which is what I hope happens for Mauricio. But I, I think that the real value in this car being on a 912, um, uh, it, and again, you, you wouldn't be able to replicate it. So you're kind of getting it for a little bit of a value is going to be in that $135,000 range. And so I will send it to you at there. But if it goes way over, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and I hope it does. I, I really hope uh, Mauricio breaks the bank on this one. Deservedly so. It's a beautiful build. It really is. A lot of people saw it at um, Ren Sport Reunion at its, uh, at its, when it was first kind of revealed to everyone. And uh, I think people have been talking about it ever since. The fact that it's now available is do, really awesome. Do we know why he's not keeping it? <sighs> you know, I don't. Uh, I should have asked him that. Um, but uh yeah, I really think he should keep this car because it is kind of the the three pedal car. But he Seriously? does have other cars that he likes to drive more, and I think that this car is just one of those things where it's like too pretty. And I think maybe he's kind of thinking, well, I finished the build; it's perfect in every way. So someone else can decide to either preserve it or drive the heck out of it. This is a yeah. hot rod. This is an outlaw. I don't know why you wouldn't yeah. buy something like this and drive it. That's why I don't really think it. You know the 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 car that it was built on really matters because yeah. it should be driven. Right. And it's like, okay, a 68, nine 11, that's in, I don't know, whatever we, this is an outlaw. If it were, if it were a stock situation, it's a different story, but I don't know. I'm going to go over, you know, I'm batting yeah. for my buddy. Um, yeah. you said what? 135. Yeah. But I think it's worth 150. Yeah. If not more. Yeah, I'm. I don't know what else you get for 150. That's that, that's this nice. Uh, yeah. That's this awesome, uh, Mauricio. If you want to change your mind, and uh, I will give you uh, my backdate car, and I don't know, maybe I'll throw in a 964 or something like that. Uh, this car is <laughs> yeah. that nice. Twofer. Um, yeah, get a twofer. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say you said 135. What did I say? Or I'm gonna say you didn't. What's that? I didn't. I didn't yet. Didn't. I'm gonna say 145. I'm gonna say people come out of the woodwork for this one, and I really, okay. really, really hope they yeah. do. And I and I I totally respect that bid. I think that that makes a lot of sense too. So it, it wouldn't surprise me, but but I I just wonder if the 912 thing isn't just a hang up for somebody going. I'm gonna spend six figures on a not 912. You know, like it. I just. But anyway, whatever. I digress. We'll see what happens. And I and I hope I'm wrong. And this thing brings 150 or more. Um, it'll be really cool to see. What do you guys think? Now is the time to plug your number in, in the comments below. See if you're better at predicting the auction results than either myself or my partner, Michael Deep. Uh, and then uh, we're going to fire up the future machine. And we're going to find out what happens with Mauricio's car right after this. Hey guys, I got to tell you about our friends, God and Porsche of Las Vegas and God and classic. If you're looking for a new Porsche or a classic, you've got to call our friend Steve at God and this guy. 1989 linen gray metallic G50 cab. Is that going to be for sale? It is going to be for sale. Uh, the car only has 65,000 miles. On Save it. yourself the hassle of screwing around with all the auctions like we always talk about and just talk to Steve. He'll find you the classic Porsche you're looking for. God and Porsche of Las Vegas. If you love watching car videos on YouTube, you got to check out my channel, The Rally Show. Ah! Oh, this car! I am driving a 2020 Lamborghini SVJ. This car, watch this. Oh! 115 mile an hour turn, like, like it's nothing. Welcome back, everybody, to the future of Bid Nerds and of your world. You were just in the past. Now you are in the future. It's just like that. Name another YouTube channel that travels into the future. I mean, we got to be it, right? How come we're not yeah. trending like Doug DeMiro? I, it's probably because he's uh -huh. given us $37 million. Um, I suspect yet. that someone yet. Nobody's given us $37 million yet. 
So who out there is going to write the check? Someone's struck in that check right now. We need yeah. 30. I, I, I'd be happy if someone give us 37 bucks. I'd be pretty excited <laughs> yeah. about that. I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> that guy gets a sticker. Um, all right, guys, we are in the future. We are, uh, I want, I'm, I was really paying close attention to this particular auction because the owner of this car is a very, very, very good friend of ours. Um, and I did get to have dinner with Mauricio from three pedal posse, uh, in that uh, future break here. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, before we talk about that, Michael D, why don't you tell us about the results of this probably I'm going to say it's the nicest 912 I've ever seen in my entire life. And yeah. Likely ever will. So now it's interesting that you would call it a 912 because you know, when I gave you my number, I, I said, I think that the build is worth 150 grand, but I took a percentage off because it is still titled a 912, even though it has this beautiful 2.7 liter, I think Rothsport motor. And it's just this, badass build it weighs nothing and it makes power and it looks beautiful this is a really cool car um so therefore i went 135 135 thousand dollars my bid you took the over obviously because this car's near and dear to your heart you went 145 thousand bucks our car transacted on bring a trailer it was uh it transacted for 118 thousand dollars on just 12 builds uh bids not a lot of action for the car um, no fault of the platform or the photographs. I just, I think the car is really niche. And I would say that that's the reason, but John, were you in the room with Mauricio when the car transacted or when you went to dinner, you know, what did you think of the number and what, what did he think about the number? Can you share that with us? Because, you know, obviously when you look at the build, you could not duplicate this car, um, today for anywhere near the number that it transacted for. So I feel like the buyer of the car really won out here. Does Mauricio feel good with that number? Could you share that with us? You know? Well, I, you know, I, I can tell you that he is not unhappy. Um, okay. Mauricio spent a lot of time and effort on this car. I, I can't, how many years, uh, you know, I think it was five or something. I, I wow, honestly, we, yeah. I mean, yeah. he had this car for a long time and he spent, you know, the thing that he the, not just the money that he spent on the car, but the attention that he paid towards the details, every last yeah. sticker and, you know, the placement and the design and the colorway and all the mechanical stuff that was done to this car. This car, look, here it is. Porsche people, Porsche collectors are stupid. They're just <laughs> effing dumb people. I'm um, one. Anyone that would, anyone that would look at this car and go, mm, I'm not going to spend the money because it has a, uh, a, a one, two instead of a one, one on the back is a complete moron. How many times have we seen? And I really mean that you are, you are stupid. <laughs> if you didn't want this car because of the fact that it said one, two on the back. Um, yeah. How many times have we seen like, you know, the, those first gen boxers that were, that, ha, that were numbered and said spider on them, you know, in RS spider. And it was just, there was <laughs> nothing about that car that made it any different from the original car, but it just had a number plate on it. And that, you know, there's no additional performance. Yep. There's no additional suspension, nothing. Pay a premium. They paid a premium for numbers, for, for yep. badges. You know, how many, what is it? The, the nine, nine, one dot one special edition just had some different, you know, seat patterns and no yep. additional horsepower or anything like that. Just no performance difference. What is the difference between a nine twelve and a nine eleven? It's the engine and the suspension yeah. and maybe a couple of gauges, right? Well, all yeah. those things have been updated to things that are better yeah. than a 911. This car is a 911. The only thing that is 912 about it, the only thing that's left about it that it's a 912 is the number on the title. This yeah. car is absolutely perfect. If you wanted a long hood, short wheelbase, hot rod 911, you know, and you spent $150,000 on one because it's an actual 911 and this one's a 912, then you're just an absolute freaking moron. And the yeah. buyer of this car just really lucked out. I think honestly, yeah, Mauricio's biggest problem was that he just waited. Um, 
you know, and, and he knows that it would have made more money if it were an actual 9-11 because he also knows how stupid everyone is. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, he's not bitter. I, I'm more bitter about it than, than he is. He's yeah. you know, he's such a great guy. He's just like, I can hey, tell. I had my fun with this car. I had a great time. <laughs> it's become kind of like a badge of honor. People know this car and they know it as 3P. And you know whoever buy, buys this thing or bought it um, isn't going to remove the 3PP stuff. They're going to leave the livery. They're oh, gonna absolutely. They're going to leave this yeah, car yeah. exactly the way it is. Yeah. Quick question. How long ago did Mauricio finish the car? And, and did, did, he, get, did he get out? But like, did he, has he had it for a year? Has he gone out and driven it in a couple of rallies and some? Yeah, like, this has car he had fun was at Rensport Reunion. Uh, this car was at Rensport Reunion. That was the debut uh, for oh, this car wow. in 2018. Oh, cool. So he's had it yeah. for He's had it on Amazing. the road for years, really. Um, oh, good, good. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good. So because I, mean, I don't know the car, you yeah, know? yeah. It's not That's like cool. he, he hasn't driven it a ton, but you know he takes it to car, you know all the you know Lake Washington Car Show, and I hope that's what it's called, yeah. Lake Washington Car Show. Shout out to those guys; they they do a really good job with a weekly Sunday car meet in Seattle. There's also they do a Soto car meet, um, kind of in downtown uh, Seattle in the old part of town, right by where my office used to be in pioneer square. Uh, so this car definitely is very well known in the Seattle community. Um, and it's been to, like I said, Rensport and a bunch of other stuff. So beautiful car, beautiful. Uh, whoever bought this thing, I am very jealous. I bought my backdate car, um, bef just before, uh, well, I bought my backdate car, drove it to Seattle, um, <laughs> and Mauricio says to me, oh, I didn't know you were looking for a uh, long hood. I would have sold you mine. And he's like, oh, man, damn it. Uh, but <laughs> there it is. Um, I'm quite happy with my car. What do you guys think of the results of this amazing 912? Do you think that Porsche people are just as stupid as I think they are and that, you know, <laughs> having any... Jeez. Uh, <laughs> put it in the comments below let me let, let us know what you think of the results and um john man, just because i like to poke the bear yeah. Dude, what, what what angers you more cabrophobes or 912 phobes boy at this point that's a very good question i'm still uh you know it's 2023 people don't be a cabriophobe and don't be a 912 phobe yeah <laughs> Hit the subscribe, like, and notification button, and we will talk about the most interesting car of the day tomorrow on an episode of Bid Nerds right here on the channel. See you tomorrow. Nerds! Get those nerds!